M0 FX Queen, look at this device, I'm actually very impressed. Now, it doesn't cover all the bands that the Air Pro does, but the case, the case on it is lovely. It's got these two speakers at the back, this big, really nice big VFO. Let's turn it down. They're about £80. The screen is wider. It is the same interface. Watch this when it powers off. Watch this. Okay, and we're going to show you all round and over the top and that. When it comes on, I just love it. it just, And you can see the version there. It does cover the 11 meter bands, the HF bands, and many broadcast bands. Look at this BT on. So if we grab my little Bluetooth speaker, not that you need it with this quality audio. So a little Bluetooth speaker there, and we're going to put Bluetooth on. And, and I, haven't e I haven't even tested this yet, so I don't even know if it's going to connect. But I d did you hear that noise? Uh, so in theory, press. It did make a noise like it had connected. Bluetooth is flashing. Right, it didn't pair, but we'll try with some other devices. Um, the screen is very responsive. So if we go to the hand bands here, and you can see if we go to 20 meters. I have got a very long wire connected at the moment. So we'll try that again. I pressed the wrong one. That's interesting. 21 megs, ham. Um, let's do 40 again. And then do ham. There it is, 20 meters. Right, that's what I was looking for. And then we can do the band. I mean mode. Up a sideband, you can see CW, AM, and LSB. See, I don't tend to do that well on 20 meters at night. You've got bandwidth selections here. Let's go back to 40. And you can tap the screen to fine tune. Nice little clicks on the on the VFO. We'll just show you around it, and then we'll come back and do some more tuning. Very impressive sticker on the top. Came with a telescopic USB-C for charging, and a remote control for infrared infrared remote control. And you're seeing it's printed there all the bands it covers. Uh, SSB 7, see if I can try and read this without glaring you too much. 73 megahertz to 30, short wave, uh, medium wave, 520, 1710, long wave to 500 kilohertz, and then broadcast, so BBC, Radio 1, all that kind of, you know, I'm not seeing airband, but if you use this adapter, and I use these all the time, you can probably get, I would say, airband and the VHF spectrum. It's one of the nicest cases I've seen. Two speakers on the back. You've got audio out there, the frequencies listed, USB charging. It says TPCE, SI4732, power on and off as well there. And then you've got your SMA for your antenna and then right and left um, speakers there. Feet. And please realize you're not gonna pick up everything that I'm picking up on a telescopic antenna. A lot of people buy receivers thinking they can put one of these on. Now you will pick up a lot of broadcast station and you may pick up a lot of faint signals except, except when the conditions are amazing and then you'll do a bit better than I would say uh, on the HF bands. But if you haven't got a very long wire you're going to struggle to get HF. Let's look at the, the band selections there as well. And it's got, I, I will look at CB, so it's got CB shortwave. FM long wave, medium wave, and look at all the bands. 11 meter, that is also CB. Uh, and you can see, that is a, a, a large range of bands. We'll hit CB, and then we're just gonna just turn there. And it's CB, what mode is it? Let's hit mode. Hmm, AM. If we try and do upper side band, does it do it? 
it does. That's quite good. Up a sideband CB. Many people are going to like that. Okay, volume on here as well. We'll press and hold the the large knob. Bandwidth step, frequency step. Let's go back to 40 meters. At least we're listening to some activity. It's nice to have that in the background, isn't it? Uh, frequency means you can type the frequency. So we go seven one five zero. Uh, let's try that. Click OK. There you are. Seven one five eight. It was, wasn't it? Yeah, no problem with that. Bandwidth. So tend to use three really. Uh, if you go to the larger increments, just tap the middle. Press and hold, volume, and we can mute it as well. It's actually quite busy, really. If you, so if you're a hobbyist, a shortwave listener, I feel you're going to be very happy with this device. Now, it does have Wi-Fi as well, so possibilities of updating the software with Wi-Fi. Let's go next. Uh, up and down searching. Let's go a bit higher. Light. I'm pressing that. Let's see, it's changing here. So it looks like it's on full brightness. Look. Scan. Okay, so we get like a a visual scan as well. Yeah, that's nice. I've seen this before. Okay, you can see the activity. Pause. And then I think when you pause, you can scroll through. Look, that's that's outside the handbands, but you get the idea. You can, and then you've got you can change a step as well. We're right out of the handbands now. <laughs> Oh, RDS, so if we go to broadcast radio, radio 2, turn on RDS. Oh, sky. See the frequency there. So it's got RDS. FM retro style. Okay, back. Uh, let's go to the setup menu. Next, and then setup. FM start. Let's just turn this down a bit. We have to exit first. Turn it down. And we're going to just look at the menu now. Right, so FM start. Seek AM 1 kilohertz. Next. RDS, FM, memo, preset, and language. Screen saver, display light off, save a time, vertical screen. Next. Um, okay, I'm just going to keep going. Beeper on, bright display power. Load default, reset to factory. I don't want to do that. I'm just wondering where the. Uh, it says it's got Wi. It's got, there is definitely a Wi Fi antenna on the back that comes with it. I'm interested to know what the what it's for. So I wonder if there's going to be some firmware updates. Okay, is there any more settings? One, we've got chip here. Firmware information. 
Okay, all right. Now, how do we come out? Tap and then info. Those are our Arduino stuff. So, I'm curious to know about Wi Fi. <clears throat> They've included Wi Fi, and with the infrared remote, so I just turned it off with a remote, and it looks like this. Okay, let's see if we can turn it back on. I am trying. No, it's not coming on. Let's power it back on with the button and just see what we can do with the remote. So I, I'm seeing volume. Let's just do it while you watch. So there's the Bluetooth again. Not doing anything on that. Volume. Mm. So maybe it's more for broadcast. Let's just go. FM, go back, FM, leave it, oh, I don't want to get trouble for music, see if it will let me do the volume, Yeah, it's not seeing that the remote's doing much at the moment. Give me time to play with it. I don't want to get in trouble for music. Um, back ham 40. So I think that's enough for this video. Let me tinker with it a bit. Um, it's only been here 10 minutes. And um, I like the look of it. I think anyone that buys it will be happy with it. Uh, Try the Bluetooth again. See if it does anything. No. Why are we pressing hold? Oh, yes. It's coming out of there. I pressed and held. Now we just need sig signals. So that's coming out of the Bluetooth speaker. Red light permanently on now so it does pair to speakers and headphones now the way that see that little adapter I told you about we'll try it why not so this thing here is a you do have to actually power it and um, it's in line with your antenna, but it adds 110 megahertz. So you have to calculate the amount and then you should be able to get airband. Let me give it a go. So it has, it has worked. You put in 28350 AM. And then it's just literally connects to the back. You do have to power it. And on the HIZ, you have to select the airband because it will actually act as an amplifier as well. So look at that. There is a built-in battery with it. So probably once it's charged, I'm pretty sure it's got a battery, but just now I can hear air band. So, and those HRZs, I'll put the link in, they're not expensive. And they'll go on any HF radio. You do have to be able to achieve this frequency. Uh, let's see if we can do two meters as well. No, I don't think it quite will. Um, reason being, you have to be able to get in 35. Let me show you. That's me doing it on my 7610. I think the lowest it'll go is 11, which is 25. wonder if we do 28 megahertz. I think it will, because it's a CB. Uh, let's just do that. It's doing 28. We want it. <laughs> We're trying our luck. No, we want it to do 35. AGC there. And attenuation. Making sure I haven't missed anything. Mode. Next. Retro memories. Yep. Yeah. Add a memory. Go back, set up memo retro FM RDS light info chip 
scan. Um, the Bluetooth does work on the remote. Um, the on off definitely works. Let's go to broadcast again. So on the retro style, let's see if there are, if we can fast forward now. I'm trying. <laughs> Debbie lets me turn it off and on. That's something. Not on. Well, you just now it turned it on. I try pushing my luck now. We're trying the volume. Which is already high. See the volume there? It's coming on the screen. Could be a flat. Ah, well, the volume lit up. <laughs> and I press OK. <laughs> OK. Um. Yeah, broken it, lol. Right, um, let's try scanning. You've got up and down arrows here. Oh, it, it, it did move. Could be a flat battery, it's only a little button battery. Auto. Auto here. Sorry, I get moving around. Anyway, that's enough for this video. Bye for now.